Okay, so once again, um, we are looking at flashing the Leap Pad 2 that I've got here um, with Retro Leap. So, much like the video that I did for yesterday's video, which was for the Leap Pad, uh, rather the Leapster Explorer, um, I'm going to get the, exactly the same tools that I used yesterday to to do this. So we've got SSH flash uh, win, uh, we've got the Git, GitHub link here, uh, we've got retro leap and we've also got the Datalogic USB LAN driver. Now this last one as I said yesterday this is required for because I'm going to be doing this using my Windows laptop um, and the way in which Windows um, detects the leap pads USB LAN connection, um, <laughs> i.e. incorrectly, uh, we need to use an external driver to make that work. Um, and it just so happens this one from Data Logic, it's not really, it's not for the leap pad at all. It's for something. Um, I think it's just a generic driver, as it says there, to allow USB LAN. Um, and thankfully, it works with the leap pad too when assigned correctly to the um, device connection so um, so as per yesterday I'm just going to go ahead now and get the releases uh, of these files downloaded which we can see down here releases if we go on there and then we've got SSH flash here which is what we want is just the zip file so yes we want to save that and we're going to do the same thing here with RetroLeap. As you can see here, it shows up RetroLeap as version 1.21 being the latest. Well, what we actually want here, um, for the purposes of my video, is you can see that we've got an alpha version here. This is, this is a, in fact, the latest uh, pre-release. Um, and that's the one we're going to use uh, today because um, in this, uh, from versions 2.001 onwards, uh, Mac 2612 changed the um, the file system of the surgeon file I believe I'm doing it from memory um, so uh, that's what now works with um, SSH flash win um, at the moment the earlier versions won't work uh, because of uh, the way I've done the implementation so we'll go ahead and get 2.00 alpha 4 we want to save that and lastly we're going to go and get the um, the data logic usb LAN driver um, and that is going to be right here so let's just go there we want the windows 10 one because that's what i'm running and we will save that Okay, so that's all now saved, and we can see there that I've downloaded them all. 